Hello, I'm Claudia. I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago, my partner Sean and I went to Sweden to find out what they were doing there during the pandemic, came back with a documentary. And after two years of being online, we got pulled just as the investigations into the handling of the pandemic got started. So we decided to try and get to the bottom of it. We appealed, but got rejected by the algorithm which accused us of misinformation and breaking community guidelines. Misinformation, a documentary showing how no lockdowns, no school closures and no masks had rendered Sweden one of the lowest excess death rates and the healthiest economy in Europe by December 2022. So, Sean went to headquarters in London. I've just arrived at King's Cross train station from York and I'm um, heading towards YouTube offices nearby to find out why our film Covid Tango and the Logan Way has been censored. So there's no sign up, which there was on Google Images, but I'm guessing this is it. So I am just about to ring to see if I can get in. We would have thought that public inquiry people might have benefited from watching our documentary. We've been signalled by somebody of security. Right, I'll just have a word. Oh, hi. Hi, um, is it, are you short? I'm a, are you not open for visitors? How do I contact somebody then? I'm trying to find out who censored our film. We've got a film on YouTube, a couple of films, and they've been taken off and for breaking community guidelines. It's what? Everything online. Everything online. So visitors can't, visitors can't. That's it then, is it? Do, do you not, do they, do they have a censorship department? I can't, I can't hear, just come a bit. This is just the office. Yeah. We don't have customer service here. You don't have customer services here. This is just for staff. Yeah. Is, there a, is there a community guidelines department? They want to tell people to ask to go online and certainly Right, okay. So you don't know who censored our film? Can you guess? No. <laughs> uh, yeah, they don't allow visitors. So that's it, and she's a security and obviously doesn't know who censored our films. Uh, so we've got to do it all online. We were going in circles. So Sean wrote a letter to the press department threatening an article to be published in the mainstream media to wake up all of those still asleep. We wanted to know what community guidelines did it break? Who removed it? An algorithm or an actual person? Why was it removed after over two years? Did someone report it? I.e. a lobby group, pressure group? Had the removal got anything to do with the current UK COVID-19 public inquiry? We did not get answers to any of our questions, but our video got reinstalled onto the YouTube platform. No questions answered, but voila, our documentary is back on. Good luck.